Shuraba. In Hindu mythology, this refers to the battle between Asura demigods and the King of Heaven. But its present-day definition has evolved to mean two other things. You know the time you spend crunching right before a deadline? That's the first meaning. And the second usage is when two people have beef and it's about to get real. They may have verbally reconciled, but resentments persist. The way Kaguya sees it, he took advantage of her by sneaking into her bed while she was vulnerable. Just how much advantage did he take, though? That is the question. And if the answer is none whatsoever, that's infuriating, too! She's irked either way. It's been an hour. There's no denying this qualifies as a Shiraba now. The resentment in the air is so thick you could cut it with a cake knife. Melding their souls with its sweltering embrace. Half a month has passed. And nothing's happened. But I think we're all used to that by now. Then the person who gets to go... will be the one who wins concentration. Concentration. A game where you concentrate. Yeah. They won't use the jokers. Um, I may have an idea. Wait a second. That's kind of the same thing as a date! Oh, it's not kind of the same thing. It is the same thing. Sitting shoulder to shoulder in close quarters, the sound of the rain and radio blending into a perfect medley while you strike up any number of conversations. Although technically her driver would be third wheeling the entire time, a date's a date, and to someone like Kaguya, it doesn't get much more ideal. What kind of typhoon are you if you can't rain hard enough to stop a few modes of public transportation? Item one of the seven tools to take down the president, a dead battery. Anticipating a variety of situations, Kaguya has prepared seven special items to aid in defeating Shidogane. And this bad boy just happens to be one of them. The only plan he and Kaguya made to see each other is at the festival they talked about last episode. If you thought they'd be hanging out and texting by now, you haven't been paying attention. They can't even bring themselves to follow each other on social media. They're not gonna cave and suggest meeting up IRL. That's enough! Stop writing and deleting text like a heartsick schoolgirl! Ah, it's your first love! It kinda is, bud. Summer vacation plans. Mountains. Ocean. All is about to be revealed, but let me break something down real quick. There are countless things to do during summer break, but whether or not those things are done with a co-ed group depends on how the group's initial excursion pans out. If the first attempt at hanging goes well, there's talk of doing this again sometime. After that, the possibilities are endless. But if the first outing goes poorly, the psychological hurdle of getting the group together again gets higher. So if the gang fails here, many dark and dreary days lie ahead. No, 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 no! Reality. It sucks, but it's what we got. Wait a sec. That day, I'll be in Spain for the tomato festival. She's not trying to balance crap! No! I let myself... Her empty mind collapses. Should I use... My bank password? I wouldn't. Computer illiteracy. You know the old guy who runs the candy shop in your hometown? Yeah, she's about as tech savvy as him. Did I do it? Sweet little two, are you playing nice? Or I'm taking all the cake. Results for today's battle? Kaguya and Shidogane lose. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Results for today's ramen battle. Fujiwara wins. It's fine. Yes, she was in the wrong. Results for today's battle. Everyone wins, except Fujiwara. Bad news, you guys. Shinomi is sick. We'll get to the heart-pounding home visit scene later. Yes! I want to find out how many peaches I can fit in my mouth. Just count peaches, though. So cute. Remember when I said we'd get to the home visit later? It's later! <laughs> Results for today's battle. They both win. Results for today's battle. There are none. The first day of the new semester. Summer has come and gone, and everyone's back to the grind of their routine school lives. Uneventful as most of the break was, the gang still came out of it with some cherished memories. One memory in particular has been weighing on a certain president's mind. Although he does have some regrets. Could I have been any more obvious? No, I honestly don't think I could have! Me either. 
He was blinded by his elation and blurted out some lines that seemed pretty cool at the time, but wound up feeling pretty cringeworthy in hindsight. This dark chapter of his past will make him writhe in pain whenever he recalls it for the next ten odd years. I'm such an idiot. All because I couldn't keep my cringy mouth shut. Wrong. Well, except for the part about Kaguya pointedly ignoring him. But she's not doing it out of any ill will she has. In fact, it's just the opposite. These are the kind of actions induced by bashfulness and nervousness. In layman's terms, she's avoiding her crush. The sparks are flying and they're on a one-way collision course with each other. A conversation between them will be inevitable. <sighs> Unless... Could it be round two already? Ah, never mind. Every time they make an effort to interact, they just barely miss one another. They might as well be fighter planes in a dogfight. I'm sorry. I'm going home where things make sense. Ishigami is shot down. Same goes for you as well. <laughs> but why? Fujiwara is shot down. Maybe she thought I was cool. Oh, he finally gets it. One more time. That was painful, wasn't it? I know it was! Shirogane is shot down. <laughs> and with that, their relationship returns to normal, setting the stage for their second semester. It's the cunning warfare of love, a battle of the sexes in which neither side can afford to be honest. They may keep their feelings hidden, but what each desires most of all is for the other to confess and be conquered. You will tell me those three small words. It seems you have a visitor. <gasps> Ay! And what, may I ask, do you think you are doing? Cute. I can't find them anywhere. Hmm? What are you trying to find, my lady? 